Okay, so let's start building this computer. First thing to do, get into the case here. And pop out the screws, fire open. So inside the case, we have our case wiring for our USB ports, etc. We've got the zip tied in here. Take these out. Slide those out of the way. We also have a case fan back here. We'll pop that out of the way. Now, the nice thing about this Corsair case is that the studs are already attached for an ATX motherboard, which is the size that we have. Okay, so just wanna just double check to make sure, but we should be golden here. So, remove our motherboard. Have a look at the pins. So we dry fit the motherboard there. It looks like it worked all good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pin outs here. Our template for the motherboard. This guy here. Okay, we're gonna pop that in. Okay, I got that in nice and snug. Now we're gonna take our motherboard. Take the screws that came with our case and our little accessory kit here and screw down the motherboard. So, uh, <clears throat> this is what I was basically trying to uh, figure out here. Is, uh, so, if you ever in doubt about something, that is what the manual is for. Definitely RTFM in this case. So, uh, gonna have a little bit of a look here. And uh, we've got the MBD HDD screws, the SSD screws. SSD pan head, short fan screws, long fan screws. So basically what I am looking for here is the motherboard slash HDD hard drive screws. These ones here, which are B. Okay, and they look like this right here, I believe. Oh. Okay, let's have another look here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That is gonna definitely go through. We've got one, two, Three, four, five, six. There's no standoffs there that are gonna touch any part of the board on the bottom. So I'm gonna say it's safe to install. We'll line this up one more time here and secure it. Double check in the back here just to make sure. Everything's lined up. And there we go. And I clipped, something is clipping it in. Holding it in a little tight there, which is great. Now we're going to put our screws in. Okay, so our motherboard is secured, which is great. So that's down. So time to uh, put in some more stuff. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to put the cooler and the processor in the motherboard. So first thing we got to do is get our motherboard. Got our motherboard set up. First thing we're going to do is processor. So we got our processor right here. Yeah, right there. PC, yeah, Intel. Nice little chip. So, what we'll do here is pop it open. Like so. Alrighty. We've got the door open. Take our chip. Right here. Ooh, look at that, eh? There you go. Here, have a look at this. Ooh, look at all those pins. Hey, now you gotta focus on me over here. Hey, how you doing? Okay, so there's an arrow on here, which should match up to the arrow on here. Okay, so had a little bit of trouble there finding the arrow, but if you pop off this piece of plastic, there's the arrow to match the arrow on the chip. So we're gonna pop the chip in now. So basically, turn it around so the arrow matches the arrow on there. Nice and gentle. So our chip is in. And then you close down the door, like so. 
chip is now installed. Hope that went well. So the next thing we want to do is install the base for our CPU cooler. So this is the base plate here and got our trusty instructions. The base plate requires a switch and an opener accessory pack here. Grab these pieces, the plastic spacer, standoff, and adding them through the motherboard. Like so now that our screws are in, we're gonna grab the base plate, put it on the back. Okay, so we've got our back plate on the back now. We just gotta tighten down on the screws and they recommend to do them in a certain pattern here, just like a tire. So one over here to two. <clears throat> so we've got the back plate on our motherboard. We're gonna spin this back over now. We've got our studs on the front here. Okay. Now it's time to install the cooler. So the cooler comes with this little bracket here. So this bracket has little screws on it, which should line up to your motherboard. So you wanna look here. Let's see. That's our chipset. Need to be in the middle. You can see here, we're just gonna pop these screws over to the middle. So that one's in the middle. That one's in the middle. That one's in the middle, and that one's in the middle. Do a little test fit here. Shows that it fits perfectly. Okay, now time for the installation. So we want this fan to blow through the fins and out of the case. So we're going to install it this way. This actually does come off, so we will pop off the fan here. Bottom of the cooler, make sure you peel that off. Here we have our paste. Remove our test fit, undo our paste. We'll take a little bit of our paste off out of here first, get the air bubble. Okay. Now that we have the thermal paste installed, Ready to add our cooler. Cooler is installed. Now we're going to take our bracket and slide our bracket in. All right, so we've got our cooler installed. I'm going to snap our fan back on. Perfect. So now we've got our CPU installed and our heat sink installed. So there you have it. There's the back plate. CPU, Cooler Master. We've got it blowing through the fins out of the case. Okay, now that we have the CPU installed, we have the heat sink installed with the fan, we're ready to put the motherboard inside the case. So, see you in a few. So we're gonna mount the M2, pop it in right there. We've moved our stud over. Now we just need to take out the little screw on the top. We have the 250 gigabyte Western Digital Blue. This guy right here. Pop that in. So you put it in at a 30 degree angle here. Slide it all the way in. And then down. That's it. Take our set screw and pop it back in. And there you have it. We have our cooler, M2 drive, cooler, Looking really good. Now, we'll pop this in the case. Hook up all the wires and everything else. Okay, so we got our case here now. We're just gonna pop our slider motherboard in. Okay, and there you have it. Motherboard's installed in the case. Ta-da! Okay, so we're gonna pop the memory in now. So we just need to open. So in this case, we have two DIMMs. So we need to use slots on this board. They are labeled. We need to use DIMM A2. So the moment of truth, let's see if there's enough room past the cooling pan here. Good. We got our second chip here. Pop that in. So, memory's in. 
Let's do the graphics card next. Okay, so just see what we need to remove here. Okay, so we know what bays we gotta remove. Get that trusty long screwdriver again. Get my graphics card ready here. And we're in. Take your set screws, thumb screws. <coughs> I hate when that happens. Perfect. So our graphics card's in. We got that rolling. Wi-Fi card here. I'll probably put that right in the bottom just to make things nice and clean. And there you have it. Wi-Fi card, graphics card, CPU, memory, hard drive. Perfect. There's not that much left now to do other than do our cable management, hook up all of our fans to our power supply. Oh, I guess we have to install that power supply. We do have uh, another hard drive here. I suppose we could, uh, we could get that put in there. So this is just a terabyte Western Digital Blue. Most of my projects are on other hard drives, but it's nice to have one inside your computer. Our operating system is going to reside on the SSD there, the M2, M.2. But hard drives aren't that expensive, so let's might as well grab one. In this case, Hard drives just slide right in. Wires for this, we're gonna keep to the back here. Okay, so we're gonna keep this this part here, we're gonna go down. This case is nice because it's got uh, little quick releases on the side for drives. So I'll just pop this one right in the middle bay. There you have it, it's locked in. Ready to go. Easiest install out of the whole motherboard yet. It's time for cable management and the power supply. So we got our power supply in. Need to tighten that up. And there you have it. Power supply is installed. So we're just gonna flip this case up now. We're gonna slide off the other side. As you can see, we can hide a lot of the cables in the back here. And there's actually a uh, raceways would you call it for cables zip ties etc it's looking pretty good here okay so it's uh three in the morning so i think i'm going to continue the rest of this build tomorrow i will catch you guys then take it easy have a good night yo 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 welcome back to the thompson vlogs hell well, it's been about a week since i've been able to work on this pc here so i think we need to kind of get started again what we want to do is get all of this wiring here. Yeah, this big mess of it. I should have, hey, there's the other camera I'm going to use to record some stuff. Uh, but we're going to get this mess of wiring here. We're going to throw that into the motherboard along with this case wiring here as well. So that is the plan. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so let's start by getting the wires I know we're going to need through. And. Uh, go from there. Okay, so we're gonna take these wires here. We're gonna put them in through the case to the parts that we need. So, I have one SATA hard drive. So we're gonna need a SATA cable. So I'll set that aside. Have the main motherboard cable. We're obviously gonna need that. So we'll set that aside there. And for power, Probably going to need a powered graphics card. Just let's have a quick look here. There's an eight pin with a square. Yeah, eight pin. So we got an eight pin on the graphics card right there. So that eight pin plug will run through as well. And it is pretty much through here. Okay, so there's our 8-pin connector. So we're gonna run that through for the graphics card here. And I keep most of the cables in the back here. I'm just gonna put them through the hole where I need them and then plug them in. And then the motherboard. Have some room here. Put 
that through there. And the hard drive's actually back here. So that's even easier. You plug the hard drive in right here. So this is our motherboard power. That's perfect spot for it to come through. So we will clip that in here. So that's in. So we got the motherboard cable connected from the power supply. We've got the fan connected to the motherboard now. Let's get that wire out of the way. I'm just gonna trim off this label. Just get maximum airflow possible. We'll get the wire out of the way for that. And then we have our CPU power, which we need to still get back. It fell through. So there is our CPU. Power. Through. What we're doing here is we're grabbing the PCI Express power cable. We're gonna put it in through the back and into our graphics card. Run that up through here. Okay, so now we're gonna install the PCI graphics card adapter, basically power supply for it. See on here, there's these two little pins and they go together. So that makes an eight pin connection. Those two pop together. So we're gonna put them through right here and plug those in to our graphics card. All right, so we're gonna take the USB 3 attachment cable here and put that through our motherboard. So this particular case has a fan speed controller so it actually takes power from very similar to a serial ATA hard drive. So we're just going to take this power here from the fan speed controller and plug that in here to the power for serial ATA. Very easy. Simple. Done. Okay. So we're gonna hook up our uh, power, reset, and all the uh, front panel cables here now. So, pass them through, and connect them to our motherboard. Okay, so we're gonna take our HD audio cable here from the front panel connector, this guy right here. We're gonna pass that through the case at the bottom, because that's where it needs to go into the motherboard. And, you can see on here one of the pins is actually blank and it's also blank on the connector so that kind of makes it easy to line up. So now we have our audio cable connector down here. Ta-da! Always a good idea to refer to the manual. So got the manual here and uh, got the front pin connectors. So we're just going to pass through the front pin connectors now and get them going. Okay, so we're going to take our system fan connectors here. I think that's everything now, so we're just going to tidy up all the wires now. Make for a nice clean install. Here we go. Oh. Going to have one last check inside here, make sure everything's plugged in. Hook it up to a monitor and let's see if we can get it to post. Okay, so we got everything all set up now. We got the cords ran, monitors plugged in. Let's see if we can get this bad boy to post. Ooh, she's alive. Yes, yes. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't hit the leap fast enough. One more try here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, it works. I did it. I made a computer. All right.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Smash that like button to send us some love. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hope your day was full of awesomeness.